Chapter 11 About a month later, King Nahash of Ammon led his army against the Israelite city of Jabesh-Gilead. But the citizens of Jabesh asked for peace. Make a treaty with us and we will be your servants, they pleaded. All right, Nahash said. But only on one condition. I will gouge out the right eye of every one of you as a disgrace to all Israel. Give us seven days to send messengers throughout Israel, replied the leaders of Jabesh. If none of our relatives will come to save us, we will agree to your terms. When the messengers came to Gibeah, Saul's hometown, and told the people about their plight, everyone broke into tears. Saul was plowing in the field, and when he returned to town, he asked, What's the matter? Why is everyone crying? So they told him about the message from Jabesh. Then the Spirit of God came mightily upon Saul, and he became very angry. He took two oxen and cut them into pieces and sent the messengers to carry them throughout Israel with this message. This is what will happen to the oxen of anyone who refuses to follow Saul and Samuel into battle. And the Lord made the people afraid of Saul's anger, and all of them came out together as one. When Saul mobilized them at Bezek, he found that there were three hundred thousand men of Israel, in addition to thirty thousand from Judah. So Saul sent the messengers back to Jabesh-Gilead to say, We will rescue you by noontime tomorrow. What joy there was throughout the city when that message arrived. The men of Jabesh told their enemies, Tomorrow we will come out to you, and you can do to us as you wish. But before dawn the next morning, Saul arrived, having divided his army into three detachments. He launched a surprise attack against the Ammonites and slaughtered them the whole morning. The remnant of their army was so badly scattered that no two of them were left together. Then the people exclaimed to Samuel, now, where are those men who said Saul shouldn't rule over us? Bring them here, and we will kill them. But Saul replied, No one will be executed today, for today the Lord has rescued Israel. Then Samuel said to the people, Come, let us all go to Gilgal to reaffirm Saul's kingship. So they went to Gilgal, and in a solemn ceremony before the Lord, they crowned him king. Then they offered peace offerings to the Lord, and Saul and all the Israelites were very happy.